All right, Charles Manson. Uh, in 1969, obviously, he was booked for his part in the murders of Sharon Tate and her friends. Uh, famous cult leader, crazy dude. Also, here, and it's neither here nor there, but only 5'2". And listen, I'm a short guy. I'm only 5'8". And I know firsthand how not seriously short guys are taken. I can't imagine, like, Charlie... Charlie Manson actually able to like now you look here you listen to what I have to say so silly like he's I've known fifth graders that are taller than Charlie Manson um anyway that's neither here nor there but in 1969 he got booked into into jail his booking documents it's two pages long with his fingerprints on them are now for sale from a private collector uh, they're two pages long. They include detailed physical descriptions. So, like, every part of his body, any scars, tattoos, anything like that. Phys like, detailed physical description of him. His fingerprints. It also has, like, his address listed as him being a transient uh, and stuff like that. So, it's a really interesting, unique little piece of, like, serial killer true crime history. Uh, it's only going... I thought it would go for way more. They're only looking to get $95,000 out of it. Which does, I mean, it's a lot of money. I'm not going to say that's not a lot of money, but I I think they could have gotten more, quite frankly. And I think Zach Baggins from the, uh, Los, An or the Las Vegas Haunted Museum, I think he's going to buy it in a heartbeat. He already has Charlie Manson's ashes. His cremains are in that museum. So I'm assuming he'll get those booking documents and just put them nice and framed right next to old Charlie.